great welcome to our channel aglasem schools today we will be covering chapter 9 that is algebraic expressions and identities so starting with the first question of our exercise 9.2 question number 1 says find the product of the following pairs of monomials so part 1 says 47p So first of all, we have to multiply four into seven p. That is four into seven into p. Our answer will be twenty eight p. That is four seven to twenty eight, and into p we will get p. So the answer will be twenty eight p. Moving to our second part, which says minus four p and seven p. It means minus four p into seven p. We will get minus twenty eight p square. P into p we will get p square. Moving to our third part, which says minus four p seven p q. It means Minus four into seven, and p into q. So the answer will be minus twenty eight p square q. Moving to a fourth part, which says four p cube minus three p. It means four p cube into minus three p. We will get four into minus three. That is minus twelve, and p three into p, which means p power four. Moving to a fifth part, which says four p and zero. So four p into zero means zero. Anything multiplied by zero will be zero. Question number two says find the area of rectangles with the following pairs of monomials as their lengths and breadths respectively. So part one says P Q. So the answer is area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So L length is P, breadth is Q. Therefore P Q square units. Moving to a second part which says ten m and five m. Area of rectangle is L into B, that is length into breadth. So ten multiplied by five, and we have m and n. So ten m into five n, we will get fifty m n square units. Moving to a third part, which says twenty x square and five y square. So the area of rectangle again length into breadth. So twenty x square into five y square will give us hundred x square y square square units. Don't forget to write square units. Part fourth says four x and three x square. So area of rectangle again length into breadth. So four x into three x square will give you twelve x cube square units. Fifth part says three m n four n p. So the area of rectangle again length into breadth, which means three m n into four n p. It will give you twelve m n square p square units. Moving to a third question, which says complete the table of products. Here I have made a table. Pink pen will show you the answers. Ab I'll tell you how I have solved the answers here. So this is our first monomial and this is our second monomial, right? This is two x square. This is two x square. So multiplying this, we will get four x square. Like two two is a four. X into x, x square. Now this two x will multiply by minus five y. It means five to the ten minus and plus, which means minus x into y, which means x y. Moving to the third part, which says three x square into two x, three to the six x square into x, we will get x cube. Four x y into two x, which means four to the eight, that is minus eight x square and y. Seven to the fourteen x square y and x, which means x cube y, minus nine x square y square multiplied by two x, which means minus eighteen x cube y square. By solving this, as we will get the answer easily. Question number four says, obtain the volume of rectangular boxes with the following length, breadth, and height respectively. So the first part says five a three a square seven a power four. So the answer is volume of rectangular boxes L into B into H. We all know this. So putting the value of L and B and H, that is five A multiplied by three A square multiplied by seven A power four, we can solve it very easily. Like five three seven digits we can place in one bracket and rest we can place in another bracket. So it's very easy. Five three is a fifteen. Fifteen seven is a one zero five. And here all the values are same a a and a. So by adding their powers, we can get a power seven cubic units. Moving to our second part, which says two p four q eight r volume of rectangular boxes L into B into H. 
that is 2p into 4q into 8r now again we have to take the digits in one bracket that is 2 4 8 and putting rest in another bracket we will get 2 4 is a 8 8 8 is a 64 now placing this p into q into r we will get pq r cubic units moving to a third part which says xy 2x square y 2xy square so the volume of rectangular box is l into b into h which means xy into 2x square y into 2xy square that is 1 into 2 into 2 and another bracket xy into x square y into xy square which means 4x power 4 multiplied by y power 4 cubic units. Moving to our fourth part which says a 2b 3c which means volume of rectangular box that is l into b into h so it is given so placing the value we will get the answer 6abc cubic units. Moving to our fifth question which says obtain the product of part 1 says xy yz zx. So xy into yz into zx means x into x into y into y into z into z which means x square y square z square. Part 2 says a into minus a square into a cube. Again writing it into, into form and our answer will be minus a power 6. Third part says 2, 4y, 8y square, 16y cube. So again 2 into 4y into 8y square into 16y cube which means 2 into 4 into 8 into 16 in one bracket and in another bracket y into y square into y cube. This. So our answer will be 1024y power 6. Moving to our fourth part which says a into 2b into 3c into 6abc. Again a into 2b into 3c into 6abc. We can write 1 into 2 into 3 into 6 like this. And in another bracket a into b into c into abc. This. So answer will be 36a square b square c square. Moving to our fifth part which says m into minus mn into mnp. Writing it in, in this form. Our answer will be 1 into m into m into m into n into n into p that is minus m cube n square p. This is all for this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, please put your query in our comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Aglasin Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself. Ha, ha, ha.